Whew. Have you ever said or heard someone say, I can't help the way I feel? Well, what if you could? Would you accept the responsibility that comes with being able to help how you feel? I'm about to drop some great power in your hands. The problem is that, as you know, great power comes with great responsibility. Are you ready for that power? More importantly, are you ready for that responsibility? So here's the great power. Your feelings and emotions are not true. They're not coming from truth. I know it doesn't sound that groundbreaking, but let's really talk about this. If your emotions, if the way you feel within yourself is not truth, then what's the manual you're operating under? What are the assumptions that you're creating? And what is that based off of? Do you find yourself arguing with your partner, waiting for them to admit that they're wrong? My wife and I uncovered that within our relationship. And because of that, we always ask ourselves and each other the question, right now, are you trying to be right or are you trying to be effective? Notice how those two things can hardly coexist. Because if you're trying to be right, if you're trying to be correct, you're trying to prove that you're right, you're coming from a place that you fundamentally believe that you hold the truth and the other people are just hiding and lying about it. And if that's the case, if you're so correct, if you're so righteous in how right you are, then everyone else just needs to admit it. Admit that you're right and they're wrong. Does that sound about right? <laughs> now, granted, this may be exaggerated for most, but underneath that and most of our cases of fights and arguments and disagreements comes this fundamental aspect of how we perceive our feelings because we believe that our feelings are truth. Because many of us operate from a deep-seated belief that our feelings and our emotions come from a deep truth and awareness, almost outside of ourselves, something that's informing us outside of our own body, outside of our own minds. It's like the feelings of truth are coming from God or higher self or consciousness. So if we believe that these feelings, these emotions are coming from outside of ourselves, how can we argue with that? We must be right. Think about it. Have you ever uttered the phrase, this must be true because I felt it? Think about what that means. How does that correlate with each other? Truth is not definite. Truth is not absolute. So operating our lives, operating our relationships based off of what's truth, based off of what's right or wrong, seems to be a recipe for stress, which is poison. Poison to our health, wealth, and happiness. In reality, Feelings are just approximations, guesses towards a future. Here's what I mean by that. When we witness something, our brains work extremely hard. Billions of neurons are firing, trying to construct, review all of our previous data and see what this possible thing that's happening in front of us may be. And we're predicting it. That's what our brains do. So for example, are you able to finish the sentence from the words that are coming out of my did you say mouth? Why? Why did you say mouth? Your brain was doing just that. It was guessing what I was going to say next. That's how fast our brains are working on this. This takes a lot of energy. This takes a lot of effort. This is why our brains use up most of the energy in our body. So if we are operating from constantly guessing what's happening, then what happens is that in every situation, there are possibilities that what we're guessing is inaccurate. Don't get me wrong, you get very good at guessing. You get very good at creating assumptions that are quite accurate. But this only happens if you're constantly questioning, questioning what you previously assumed. If you lead with a scientific mind of creating hypothesis, hypothesis is a guess of what can possibly be so. So if you lead with questioning everything that can be possible, then you're getting better data. You're getting better information to predict more accurately on. But first, you have to accept that feelings aren't truth. And what this allows 
is for your relationships, for your communication, and for your overall happiness to improve dramatically. So why is believing in emotions or feelings being true even a problem? Well, think about it like this. If the operation manual that you're basing all of your decisions, choices, and actions are is inherently faulty, then what you end up building is an abomination. And what you're building every single day of your experience here on earth is yourself. So do you wanna build an abomination or do you wanna work towards growing yourself, developing yourself, connecting deeply with others, being happy in your own skin? If that's what you're after, then recognize that your emotions and feelings aren't truth. All right, so emotions aren't true, feelings aren't true. Great, what do we do with that? Well, this is the best way to approach it, is constantly question your assumptions. How? So if you feel, if you have a feeling, a gut feeling, that someone was trying to hurt you, instead of operating from a point of that being absolute truth, question that with curiosity. Question that assumption. Now, I don't mean a fake questioning by setting a trap to get someone to admit that you're right and they're wrong. I mean genuinely being curious to the possibility of you being incorrect. Lead with that. Therefore, let's live with health, wealth, and happiness by living with curiosity rather with the need to be right, the need to find the truth that doesn't exist. It's all perspective, it's all possibilities. So if you found this helpful, I would appreciate a like, a comment, or just a share. Share with people that you wanna share the love with. Peace.